Hey guys, what's up? My name is Art. It's Saturday night. Uh, it's about maybe like 10 or 11 o'clock at night, maybe-ish. And I'm sitting down in my basement uh, playing playing my PS4. Playing this game called XCOM 2. Um, we should talk to that hustler around the black market. Maybe she can help us out. We stop <sighs> A lot of things, a lot of things I want to say. A lot of things. What, right, first thing I want to say is that um, right, what you see right here is an introvert. Okay, I am a pure, pure, pure introvert. I have problems. I have so, and also have social anxiety to a certain extent. I have no problems going places on my own if I need to, but sometimes I have problems interacting with people. And that's, you know, that's a problem I had since I was a child. Never grew out of it. It just reminds me, um, five years ago when I first started, before I started making these videos, I was going through a severe depression. And to a certain extent, I, I think it was my low, one of my lowest, to lowest lows of the date. Um, at that time, at around about, the, you know, it was like about, yeah, you know, maybe May-ish or something like that. I had a relation until then. I had a relationship which I thought was working to a certain. Extent. We had problems, but I thought it was working. But it was like I was dating her, and she was dating whoever she can to get the best deal, so to speak. So in a, in a sense, what happened, she found a better man, or what she thought at the time was the better man, because this guy had flash, this guy had style, he had good clothes, he had a good car, he had his own place, you know, stuff that she wanted, and plus he could, buy, he could spend money on her, okay? But basically what it was is that she found a douchebag that did whatever the fuck he wanted to do, and he cheated on her many times. Okay. Now, how do I know? It's just he's that type. <laughs> Plus, after talking with her sister and stuff like that, which which sometimes which I'll call the twin, that's what you know, because he was trying to hit on her at the same time as well. So, who knows? Who cares? And who cares? Now, what happened was I just got off of probation. Wow. Wow, it just reminds me. Wow, that's been a long time since I've been off probation, pretty much, you know. <laughs> or I think I still was on probation. Yeah, I think, yes, I was still on probation at the time. <laughs> and now, like I said, I was at my lowest low. And I was thinking about checking out. I was seriously thinking about checking out. You know what I'm saying? Because I, at first I didn't really appreciate what I really had. I didn't appreciate what I really had. <laughs> and, you know, I had a good job. I have a decent job, which I love. I've been there for 20 years. I, I live in a decent house. True, it's my parents' house, but I live there. Even though I pay the mortgage. So, hey. <laughs> and maybe one day... In the in the near future, this will be my this will be mine all all solely mine, maybe. Um, sorry, there's a little, these little gnats flying. Some re, somehow we got these little gnats and they're flying around. And they're bugging the crap out of me. They're like all over the house, and it's funny. It's getting colder, so it's like really. During the summertime, we had nap problems. Now, all of a sudden, it's getting, it's getting cooler out, and we have these nap problems. So, that's why I'm like, you might see me like squishing around. And for some strange reason, they always try to fly around your damn eyes. I don't know. Probably because of moisture. So, what happened was, I was thinking about going, I was thinking about, you know, like I said, I was thinking about quitting my life. And, uh,.
Ja. Hm. So. But anyway. Let's but anyway. So what happened was I was thinking about like I said, I was thinking about checking out. Playing the game and, and talk to you guys at the same time, which is cool. Now, here's the thing. What do you do? So, one day I decided to say, well, you know what? I said, you know, maybe there's other people like myself. Maybe there's other people like myself. So, I, what I did is I typed in depression. And so was, and I, I typed in depression and a bunch of videos popped up. I was like, whoa, this is interesting. All these people suffer from depression. Are they talking about us? So first, I thought, I mean, I'm, I don't want to like a lecture on why depression happens or what happens during depression. I don't want to lecture. I want to hear somebody's experience. And what happened is this one girl from, I think she was living in Australia at the time, you know, a cute little girl. <laughs> And she had a 45 minute video about her depression and suicide attempts. And after watching that, I was kind of amazed. I said, wow, this girl's so young. She has her whole life ahead of her. Why the hell she feels like that? But then again, it took me a while to realize people experience stuff like that. All kinds of people experience that. All kinds of people experience that. So here's the thing. So what's going to happen? Well, we don't know. So what happened after that? I looked up. I said, "Wow, my mood was a little bit light. Was a little bit lifted." And I said, "You know what? Why don't I make videos? I feel bad. I feel depressed. Why don't I make some videos and I talk about my feelings and stuff like that?" And so what happened? I I started doing that. I started doing it and I started feeling better because I started talking. Now, funny thing is, I've been in therapy on and off for 10 to 15 years. And the funny thing was that it was because of this. Because of this. My therapy session started getting better and better and better. I have not been in therapy. I've been out of therapy for over a year. Because I don't feel a need for it anymore. Because what happened is, is that I started recording myself talking. You know, I felt bad. I started recording myself talking. Now, most of those videos, all those videos, you're not going to see because I deleted them. What I did was I, I recorded it. And then what happens is I watched it. Now, what happened is this one girl I know, beautiful woman. I had a crush on her for years. Still have a crush on this woman. But she likes white men. But, oh, well. Okay. She likes white men, so there's nothing wrong, and there's nothing wrong with that. So there's nothing wrong with that. So hey, whatever you say. And so I told her. So what happened? I sent her some videos that I did of my depression. Some of these videos I did, and what happened? They're private, and some of them ones, the ones I showed her was the one I posted to YouTube. So what happened is now. Supposedly she watched some of them, 